All right, y'all, it's a beautiful summer day in St. Bernard Parish, Louisiana, and I'm here at the Delacro Fishing Pier for another seafood market. This is an opportunity for the general public to come meet the fishermen, shake their hand, and buy some fresh seafood right off the boat. We offer these twice a year, one in the fall and one in the early summer, and this is the one for the early summer. So if you're not able to make it, go ahead and plan your trip for the fall so you can be here to get your fresh seafood, to stock up your freezer, and to have a taste of what we have to offer here in St. Bernard. I'm gonna go see what they got because you know I'm hungry. I'm ready to eat and fresh seafood is always the best. So let's go see. Tell me your name. What's your name and what's the name of the boat? Michelle Johnson and the name of the boat is the Sheree Nicole. And what we got here? 40 50s. Caught last night. Caught last night? Caught last night. Two dollars. Wow. Don't yep. get no fresher than that. Don't can we, get no fresher than can that. Can we scoop some up and show them? Uh -huh. Wow. Beautiful. Now everyone likes to talk about big old shrimp, which are great on the grill, but these 4050s is exactly what you want to put in your cook dishes like gumbos, etouffees, it really doesn't match up well with a big shrimp. So come down here, get some of these 40, 50 shrimp that were caught last night. They'll be fresh when you get here at the market. Yeah. Man, that's gonna be good. You yeah. know it. Pull a scoop, Mr. Charlie. Show them what you got today. This is uh, 1620. Wow. 1620. Holy smoke. That's a big shrimp. What size are those? They 1620s. I got some 1015s over here. Even bigger. Wow. That's a big baby here. Look at those. Man. That's a big one. Wow. And we got some medium shrimp here. We got a few medium. These are 26 30s. Wow. They're 32. We had two more left like that, y'all. All right, so you've seen it. We got all shapes and sizes of shrimp for anything you want to cook. Come down here to the seafood market. There'll be one this fall. Come see him. That's the man right there. There you go. What's up, Mr. Bobby? Yeah. How you crab, doing, man? Selling crab. You know what we're doing down in St. Bernard Parish. Got the best crab in the world. <laughs> it's, it's really not even an argument. They try to make it an argument, but it's really not. A lot, a it's lot not even of, a debate. A lot of videos. Look at that. Seven. So when were these crabs caught? If yesterday, if, yesterday. Yeah, if they're alive today, they must have been caught recently. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. You've been seeing a lot of that, uh, my comments on my videos that we sell their crab, too. That's, uh, they've been, they've been giving me heck. I ain't gonna lie to you. Why is that, man? Uh, because they got a lot of people that know everything about crab, evidently. Right, right. I didn't right, realize right. how many people knew everything about a crab. <laughs> she gets really frustrated, huh? She gets... I've been well, dealing with it, too. But yeah, everybody says that because we slush them in this ice water, let me show you the difference. They say our crab are dead, but we ship it them. And you see, watch that crab right there. You see how alive he is? Let's clear this corn out. And I'm gonna put him in this attitude adjustment ice water. And we're gonna let us drink it up. That is the same crab. I ain't never left my hands yet. And we're gonna let us suck it up there for a second and watch. Let me make sure I'm gonna sit, leave him for a couple extra seconds because I really don't want him to make a fool out of me. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. But look at him now. Look how mellowed out he is, how slow moving he is. We'll actually let him sit in the water about four or five minutes. Yeah. But well, they must leave the state in a cooler anyway, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they go refrigerated trucks to where did they get yeah. up there. Where do most of your crabs go? 100% go to Baltimore, Maryland. That's where they go. And we got customers along the East Coast. They yeah. actually. They, so pick, once they get to Maryland, they may they, go somewhere they'll, Some else. of them go to Pennsylvania, and some okay. of them go to uh, Virginia. But a lot of them stay the in Maryland. majority of them stay, my big customer is in Maryland. So that's where they, they get, but most of the, most of the crabs from St. Bernard Parish, good crabs goes to Maryland. 
And, uh, All right, you heard it here, folks. I know every time I do a crab video, somebody from Maryland's got to get on there and talk about Maryland crabs. And we're not saying y'all have a bad crab fishery. We're just saying we have a little bit better one. Yeah. Reproduce I more. I ain't said that you, either. No, we, we produce more. You can look it up. This is easy information to yeah. find. We yeah. produce almost double the amount of crabs that Maryland does. So yeah. let's just face it. We got a bigger fishery. We provide more. It is what it is. We're also a sustained fishery. Yeah. We've been certified, Louisiana's been certified to be a sustained fishery for crabs. We were the very first one. All right, so yeah. tell us what we got here. What, what size crab is that? That's yeah. a, a number two, which is five and three quarter inch crab from here to here to a six and a quarter. This is probably a five and three quarter inch crab. And he's good and heavy, like see how dark white he is. He don't have the brown. A lot of people like to see that crab dirty. Some people will say this crab's probably light because he don't have the brown on the bottom. He just... See, that's a good white heavy bottom. Grab, let me see if I can't find a better one that's, but you see, it's this, hard on the this rock. This is the one that you dip that they said dies. When you right, dip right, it. right. Yeah, but they, they give us a hard time, that's for sure. We, 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 we get, we getting threats right now, believe it or not, so we must be doing something right. That's right. That's, <laughs> you know, that's for well, sure. Well, I mean, and the thing about it is, we're all in one country, and we should support domesticated right. fishing, right. Not like you know? Thing. Look. Maryland, they are amazing because you know what? They eat some crab. That's right. They and got we are market. so thankful for yes. that, you know? Yes. But if it, if it wasn't for all of the other fisheries, not just Louisiana, but on the, all of the East right. Coast, everything, Florida, you know? If it wasn't for all of these states coming together, Maryland wouldn't be eating no crab. All right, we got a customer. Do y'all have any catfish on Chicago? No, no, no we fish. We got crab. We got soft crab and hard crab. Okay. But have fish in it? Uh, they might have some fish on these, some one of these shrimp boats, maybe. Oh. Go ask them. Appreciate it. Go, go ask them. All right, so let's talk about if I came here for the seafood market to buy crabs, how do you sell them? What does it cost? What am I getting? All right, right. These are $12 a dozen. Dollar okay. crab, basically. And this okay. is a, a number two male crab. It will be five and three quarters to six and a quarter inch crab. Now we got what we call what we call factory crab down here. It would just be a small anywhere uh -huh. else, I guess you'd say. It's technically I'm noticing a lot of places don't have small crab. They just start at medium, I got go you. to large, and that's right. a strategic kind of thing. Right. But we just call them small crab. And this is what we'll call a factory crab. Let me see if you, we want to see that. That's what they want to see. Don't bite. Oh yeah, yeah. See, see how that yeah. rust. That's what they want to see. A big dirt, that dirty go crab. Right, right, right. This, and this so what does a, that mean when you see that? That means automatically you don't have to squeeze him or nothing. See, like when the crab's got like this. We got. Oh, no, no, no. What does that mean for the interior of the crab? It's, a, it's full of meat. Right. Full of meat. But when you see that color, that that darker spots and all that, you don't have to squeeze. Like this crab, we might squeeze because even though it looks heavy. You got some of them we call a faking crab, uh, and you can squeeze right there. If that was to press in, that would mean we would discard it into got a factory. Meat. Oh yeah, yeah, he hasn't filled out yet. Yeah, That's right. all. But yeah, those are five to five and three quarter inch crab. Okay, and what do we sell these for? Six dollars a dozen. Fifty six, cents a crab. Six a dozen, twelve a dozen. Yep, I got it. it. Plus 50, we got soft crabs. Plus we, you want to see some a soft crabs? Okay. Soft crab yeah, let, over there. take care. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought that was custom. Um, <laughs> Yeah, let's, sell, let's show them soft crabs. Go ahead. All right, that's another thing I notice every time I put out a video, y'all love soft shell crabs. So this is a great place to come and get them. You can stock up. These freeze well. Come down here and get them. Let's see what they got. No, yeah. this is all we got left. <laughs> yeah, those this is such a high demand on soft shell crabs. Oh, yeah. Incredible. They just, they right, just so low supply is what it is. What is the cost on this? We sell these five dollars per crab. Five sixty dollars a dozen. Not okay, the little. Yeah, not, yeah, not the little. Gotcha. All Beautiful. the big ones. Six inches and up is five dollars a crab. And y'all produce these yourselves yes. still? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 We have three tanks that we put them in, so we can separate the way uh, when he brings the crabs in. We separate by the little flipper. You look in this little in this little flipper right here where this hair is was going to be on the inside when it's getting ready to shed and that tells us by the color of this hairline on the inside tells us how close that crab is to shedding if it's red then we know that crab's going to shed within a day or so so they go in the tank for red lines if it's like a light pinkish color then we know it's got a couple days and sometimes it'll be whitish or green so we have different tanks that we sort them in based on based on that yeah and once they're red we put them in that tank and they shed we let them stretch for a little bit to get their full size and then we put them in the pool in the refrigerator 
So, do y'all ship these nationwide? No. 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 Uh, we actually get more money for them down here than what they'll get on the East Coast. Okay. Farm. Okay. So, yeah. if you want this, you got to come get them yeah. from y'all directly yeah, here in These pretty North. much go to all of the, of the uh, New Orleans uh, restaurants. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A lot of high-end yeah, restaurants. Yeah, we got a phone call the other day saying the lieutenant governor just ate one of our soft crabs. So, yeah. you know. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Oh. how to cook my absolute favorite crab fish a good traditional stuffed crab got to get back to the house get these boiled first i got a little bit extra because y'all know jack's gonna want to eat boiled crab but stick around you're gonna want to see how you can cook them when you come down to st bernard and get you some fresh crab all right folks well i hope you got to see a little bit of what it's like to come down to one of our seafood markets here in st bernard as i mentioned before the next one won't be until the fall so be watching our Facebook page for Visit St. Bernard to watch and see when that's going to happen. Sometimes around late October, early November, somewhere in there. Be expecting the next seafood market. You don't want to miss it. Now I've got to do something with all those crabs I got from Bobby. So we went ahead and boiled them, okay? And we enjoyed them quite a bit, but I had to hold Jack back and we couldn't eat them all because I needed some crab meat and some crab shells for the dish I'm going to cook. Now, growing up in St. Bernard, my favorite way to eat crab was stuffed crab. Being that close to New Orleans, we always have access to great French bread, and that's going to be a key ingredient in this. You can use any type of, you know, Subway-style bread, but if you can get your hands on a good French bread, go ahead and get it. And then, of course, you're going to need all that crab meat. And if you know anything about picking crabs, that was a lot of work. So guess what? This dish better have a big old payoff, and it will if you follow these steps. Now let me get started. All right, go ahead and melt down a half a stick of butter and add about three tablespoons of olive oil as well. All right, and once that's melted down, add some onion. That's one onion, one bell pepper, and a couple sticks of celery. And cook that down until it's wilted. Go ahead and pop that French bread in the oven for a little while, let it get toasted. I got mine at 400, just like that. All right, now that the onions and bell pepper and celery are cooked down, I'm going to go ahead and add my crab meat. That's, gosh, I don't know, two, two and a half pounds, a little bit of crab meat. Mix that up. Now I'm going to start adding French bread pieces. All I did was toast that French bread, cut it up into chunks, and I'm going to start adding it. And as you add, you want to start wetting it down with seafood stock. Start wetting it down, mushing it up. Wetting it down, mushing it up. If you ever want this to turn soupy, you just want that bread to be wet enough at first to, to mash it down, turn it into a mix. You are going to have to do some eyeballing here. I can't give you exact amounts of bread and all that to use. You're just gonna have to take your time, wet it down, mush it up. All right, folks, now after I've added a vast majority of the French bread, I'd say, you know, definitely three quarters of it made it in. I really have the texture that I want, which is a little bit gluey, you know? We want that to be able to hold a form a little bit without being too, moisturize and having too much moisture and without overpowering the crab meat you definitely want the crab meat to still be the star so that's basically the consistency the mix i'm looking for there once you do get that set it off to the side and let it cool off for a little bit all right so i've rinsed out my crab shells real good and now comes the actual stuffed crab part of this dish and you want to go ahead and fill up your crab shells with your mixture you just made Take your time with this part, get it right. Just 
so I'll fit in there like that. And that's what you're looking for there. Go ahead and do them all like that. All right, and once they're all set and stuff, go ahead and top them off with some Italian breadcrumbs. All right, now they were in the oven at uh, 400 for about 20 to 25 minutes. Now that I have them out, I went ahead and I hit them with a little bit of the seafood magic from Paul Perdome. The reason I did that, instead of putting it all in the mixture was I boiled my crabs in a spicy, heavily seasoned water. So a lot of my flavor and seasoning was already in the crab. So top it with a little bit of that, garnish with parsley. And that's what you get, a delicious, beautiful stuffed St. Bernard crab, a good dish I grew up eating and really my favorite way to eat crab. All right, there it is. I've got mine served up with some French fries. This guy's ready to try it. There's that goody crabness. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious French bread, melted down, cooked down. Mm, exactly how I remember it growing up. Well, you saw it all, folks. We got that seafood market here in St. Bernard in the summer, in the fall. Come down and see us. And we've got a lot to do when you come to St. Bernard, and we hope we see you really, really soon.